Hey there, Brewberries, what's up, and welcome to another episode on the Hardcore Minecraft world. And boy, howdy, do we have a lot to do today. Last episode, we made this guy. And I was calling him Gerald, but I, I managed to talk to him a bit, and I guess his actual name is Phil. Now, I still think that I prefer to call you Gerald because Gerald the Golem GG sounds better than Phil. But we don't need to talk to Gerald right now. We'll be discussing with him a little bit later about stuff. Now, last episode, we worked on this big old build and uh, it seems like everybody seems to like the build style. And so that is awesome to hear because <laughs> I don't want to change it. Um, I am actually really looking forward to what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'll be upfront and honest. I think this video is probably going to be a day or two late just simply because we were late last week and it's kind of pushed me back this week as well. Uh, I'm going to try my best to not be late, but who knows? I don't, I don't honestly know how long this is going to take. Um, I don't have a true blue concept as to what we're going to be doing in today's build. What we're going to be tackling is this side. So this side is going to be explaining how iron golems are created. Everyone seems to enjoy that concept. So we've got kind of the smelting area where the uh, iron from the iron farm is processed, smelted down, and then casted into iron blocks and stuff over here. That's kind of what this premise is, is that this is like second stage refining, and then it becomes a actual usable product down here. And so then what I wanted to do was have this side be the iron golem creation. Um, and Mavis is in the background, so if you hear anything, that is him. Um, and so we're going to be doing Iron Golem creation today. I've had some great ideas uh, for this third sign. I wasn't really sure what we were going to be doing, um, but I've had a few great ideas. Uh, one of which that the one I'm leaning towards is the iron product manufacturing sort of thing, like taking the industry of using iron to create various products like anvils, hoppers, iron gates, etc., lanterns, all that stuff. Um, taking all of those iron products and making this kind of like a manufacturing zone. Um, I think that could be a really cool build idea. Um, the reason why I'm leaning towards that is because some other some other people made a very good point of uh, bringing up that iron golems need pumpkins. And so doing a pumpkin farm would make sense. And to your to your credit, that is an awesome idea. Um, but I was already considering doing that on this side for the iron golem farm since it kind of makes it it goes with the iron golem farm so i think it should be paired up next to it um and so we're gonna have kind of like makeshift uh, automatic pumpkin and melon farms um and there's uh, gonna be some interesting stuff going on with how the villagers think that you can make golems out of uh, iron and melons and that's just not at all what you do and so we'll see how that develops because i definitely need to be teaching them like no just use pumpkins oh a little chicken how fun um and so we're going to be focusing on that today uh, now the very first thing that i need to do is i need one i think i'm going to make a nether tunnel uh, all the way over to our Mesa because boating 5,000 blocks away is actually like an actual like 20 minute, 30 minute investment of my life. Uh, and I don't necessarily enjoy that as much as boat riding in Minecraft is fun and all. I don't necessarily need that in my life. So we are going to firstly be doing that, making a nice long nether tunnel that goes all the way over to our Mesa biome. I'm going to gather, be able to then gather up some more terracotta. Uh, we have plenty, I think, for this uh, this side in particular. But in case we need to get more, I want to be able to have easy, quick access. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get into building up 
the sort of walls of this because this essentially is going to be a mirrored build. Um, but what's going to be different is they're not going to be gigantic or kilns or anything, but I would like to kind of mirror it out so that it, this, like we have a platform that extends out just as far. Um, and then we also have a staircase, which I do need to make this into slabs still, but we're going to have like a staircase on that side as well. That kind of leads up. I want it all to feel like raised and bigger than like a bigger than life sort of feeling uh, when you come and approach this. So let me go ahead and get on into the building of the main facade uh, and then we'll get on back into the actual iron golem creation. All right. So a lot of work has been done, as you can see, a uh, good amount, actually. And um, I'm noticing something. I think we are starting to get into the busier season of my work because normally uh, to instead of taking a lunch break, I will normally spend that hour and record uh, because I just kind of take a like do a light snack or something in the middle of the day instead of eating lunch. And so I generally take some time to just do something productive uh, that is for the channel in some way. Uh, and this week, I have not really been able to do that, whether it's on a project that I'm working on or, well, that's pre pre pretty much it. Um, and so I just haven't been able to really do that. So I'm a little behind on some of the videos. So that's why this past week has been a bit light in terms of only, I believe, having a video on Sunday. Uh, so... That all said, look at what we have here. This is good. So as as we had discussed before, and as uh, this uh, whole episode is based on, this is the Iron Golem creation area. We've got our iron smelting purification area for casting blocks of iron and stuff. And this is going to be for the Iron Golem creation. And I am pretty dang pleased with how it's turning out so far. So I don't have uh, any, the reason we don't have windows is because I ran out of glass and I ran out of bricks, so can't really build the windows. Um, but that's neither here nor there. It doesn't really matter. We can get those later on. But we've got the Iron Golem creation zone started and actually pretty, pretty completed in some sections. Now you can see two different platforms. Um, the this bottom one is mirroring kind of what we did before on the other side, the sort of smelting side, uh, where we had the smelting side dropping down. But this one is bigger because this is where the assembly of the iron golems takes place. And we've got a couple of different assembly spots uh, being done. Uh, we, so we have one, two, three, and four. And I can't decide if I want to have a pile of scrap iron here, or if I want to have a fully completed iron golem that is kind of boxed in here. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the iron golem box versus the scrap iron because we can just say storage is on the inside um, because I think that I think that would work perfectly fine. But for this iron golem stuff, this is what we've got going. So I've been trying to figure out how can I best represent iron golem creation? And what I've landed on is using smooth stone to indicate almost non-living iron in a way. Uh, and so because you can't really make a full iron golem with a jack-o'-lantern head on top uh, because that will just turn into a actual iron golem. And so, because I didn't want to do that, I decided to go with this sort of smooth stone mixture of iron and smooth stone. Because to me, smooth stone almost looks like a dead iron. Like if this is living, like this is a an iron golem that is slowly activating. And it actually, it's not necessarily an instantaneous process. And so it's actually like turning on. And so the iron golems in my head, they are kind of more like automatons rather than actual like fully living beings and this iron golem is going to wreck this dude oh, never mind but he kind of like i don't know he kind of looks like a like a not necessarily fully living being more like a cyborgy type of thing and so that's kind of what i'm going for and so we have some in different stages of being built we've got just started being built 
one that's fully built just not being activated quite yet and some that are in the middle of the activation phase and you can kind of see them coming to life in a sense and i think that is a it's a really fun process now i'm gonna probably leave most of this pretty open especially if this becomes a regular old iron golem area where this there's just an iron golem chilling out and being almost an example of the end outcome i think that'll be good um, and then i'm gonna have some walls to decorate the outside here but it doesn't need to be super super decorated because it's more about just putting the pieces and bits together now if we go up here this is where the fun stuff actually gets to be built so we've got a couple of things so one we need to have a shearing sort of section of the build because you have to shear the pumpkins in order to get the jack-o'-lantern faces and we know that is a key component to making an iron golem and so we have the this sort of miniature storage area for some jack-o'-lanterns and then this is going to be something that is kind of interesting so underneath here in this little section is going to be a pumpkin slash melon farm and so the harvesting and stuff is actually it's going to take place underneath here and i'm going to make it so this glass like exposes the redstone and all that stuff because i think that'll be kind of interesting to look down and see um, and so you won't really be able to see much of anything besides that but i wanted to have this shown and this is going to be like a tube that goes down to collect it and essentially what's going to be going on here is we're going to be making this sort of conveyor belt thing and i think that is going to be a really interesting build style to go for so we're going to have a conveyor belt of sorts with these different pumpkins on them now they're not going to be sheared they're going to actually just be pumpkins uh, and then we're going to say that this is like where they come out this is kind of like a baggage claim in a sense if you can uh imagine that it's like a baggage claim area and so they come through the flap and then they get kind of transported around and then they'll get dumped off into a pile of pumpkins and all that stuff there. And um, this is where the collection kind of takes place. Maybe there'll be some organization and stuff. Who knows? But this is where the pumpkins kind of get taken to uh, and then they can be sheared or sheared along the line or whatever. Um, we'll have some villagers and stuff wandering around. And so I think that'll be good. They'll sell it a little bit more. Uh, and so the pumpkins aren't going to be necessarily a huge thing in this, but we're going to have just like a little pile right here and you can kind of walk around, shear them, whatever. Uh, and I think that's good. Now, this thing right here, this little section here that I have marked out is going to be kind of the thing that makes it feel a little bit more interesting. Uh, so essentially what I want to do is to make some form of crane ish system, but it's not going to be like a crane. It's going to be more like like a, I think claw machine almost. Uh, to where it can just, it'll essentially be holding iron or input the iron uh, and it will carry around the iron and place it in the dead and weld it together and stuff automatically uh, so that they can then do the final step of putting the jack-o'-lantern on. Um, and so it's, it's a way because I, I'm thinking, you know, iron, you know, no, no matter how unrealistic Minecraft is, let's make it a little more realistic in villagers not being able to carry full on iron blocks like that would be heavy as nuts. So we're going to say that this is a machine that carries the iron around and places it in the proper area and they can either the villagers weld it together or the machine welds it in place as well. So it's a way of like automating the creation of the iron golem. Uh, and so it's kind of like ebbs and flows with the flow of iron and then also with the flow of the pumpkins coming in. And so I think that will make it a little more interesting and make it a, a bit more of an industrial feeling sort of vibe. And I think that'll be really nice. Now, we are not going to be building the pumpkin and melon farm today. That is going to be a next episode thing because uh, I would just, I don't know, I don't have the resources to do that. And I don't necessarily think it's quite necessary right now. We do have a little bit of a pumpkin farm over here just to get things a going because I just I need to have some pumpkins uh, in order to make a pumpkin farm. So far, I am very pleased with how everything is turning out. Uh, still definitely a good amount of building to do. Uh, and so let's go ahead and maybe do a small little time lapse to get the rest of this built. Uh, and then we can take a one final little look-see at it and we'll have a full functioning iron golem creation factory done.
All right, I gotta say, I've been doing some building and uh, we are now pretty much fully done with this side, which is glorious. The look this is shaping out to take is phenomenal. I'm so intrigued by this building. Like it's, I'm glad we're taking it side by side because it is just such a cool build style and such a cool concept. I'm I'm just really glad that we're taking it slow uh, and actually and doing it per side, like a use case for each side of the build. I think that's really, really helping flesh this out. So we now have two sides done. We have our smelting side and we have our iron golem creation side and it looks so cool. Tons of iron has been used in this. That is all iron trap doors up there. There's iron bars there, iron trap doors. I changed all of these side stuff here from brick walls to iron because it just made sense to me. Uh, altered the entrance on that side just a little bit so that it's a bit more uh, in line with the kind of build style. Um, and then, yeah, it's just a little bit better and I, it's nothing too particularly crazy, but it's just a little bit more interesting. It's not the main side, not the main like entrance. So it doesn't really matter that much, but look at this head on. I think this looks so, so good. Oh man, it's so good. So this side does not have nearly as much done because we don't have that left side done. Uh, we will be doing that next episode because I think. I have a decent idea as to how to approach that uh, since that's going to be like the industries side, since we're going to have the pumpkin farms and stuff on either side here. I think it's going to be really nice. But oh boy, look at this. So we don't have iron golems here, which we can actually we have enough iron. We can just go ahead and do that. Um, but here it is. Here's the entrance. Didn't get the pathway done quite yet, but that's all right. I'll do that in between episodes. And you just enter in these. I was afraid these were going to feel weird, but I actually think they look really, really cool. So either side is using like that crane mechanism thing, which you'll get a better look at. Um, but it needed to be fairly tall to be able to actually build something that is like worth showing. And I think overall it adds such a nice aesthetic. Like you walk in and you're like, wow, this is this is a pretty big build, pretty epic. So you walk in here and this entrance is a lot longer. Uh, you walk in and you actually get to go like you can go right on in. There's a little bridge that goes over and then boom, you're right in here. Uh, and so let's go ahead and get some iron. All right, I got far more iron than I actually need, but that's pretty good. So on uh, let's see, what side do we want to go on? Let's just go on the left side. They're both basically the same. So we've got a pile of iron here with beds. This is how we're going to house villagers. It's supposed to be just like piles of iron, but we're going to use white beds to make the both a sort of interesting shape, uh, but then also be able to give villagers a place to sleep. This is just kind of a nice aesthetic to do, uh, to be able to have like this open air concept without too much uh, in the ways of immersion breaking. And uh, so they will sleep there and you know what? It's perfectly okay. Uh, then we have our iron golem creation area, which you saw the iron golems before, but you did not. Oh, and this iron golem that was here, uh, well, there was one here, he died. Uh, so we can go ahead and actually rebuild him. And then uh, they can't actually, they don't want to pathfind over these. So that's why these actually work well as just barriers, um, but don't actually like act as barriers. Um, and so, and also mobs, I don't think want to pathfind over them. So it's overall just a decent way of keeping things in and keeping things out. But here is what the ceiling looks like. And uh, if we can get a little bit further back, we've got this sort of gear thing. And the idea is that the each, if you've seen like a 3D printer, uh, that's kind of what I'm envisioning here. So this bar and this bar actually can slide around and move to make this crane go exactly where it wants. So we've got this little area being able to slide around, this little area being able to slide around, and then we have this that is like the main crane thing that can then extend out, can kind of like travel along these two beams to be able to get to exactly where it wants to be. I could have done it to where the, the connection point is exactly where the beam thing comes out. Uh, maybe that was a better design, but I decided to go with this because I couldn't really get this design up close to the sides. Um, but then this is uh, sort of the mechanism, like it's got a little chain that can lower down and start building up and placing the iron blocks. 
uh, to be able to then build these guys out. So this one's being currently made. You can kind of see it in action. And I think it's just a really cool concept on this side as well. Uh, it is same thing, different position. However, I want to give it a, like to give that idea um, of movement in this one because it is fully shoved against the side. Um, and then you've got the the thing being built right there. I thought that was cool. Let's go ahead. We're going to have two iron golems here and it should be pretty lit up that nothing should spawn. And if there is something that manages to get in here, I don't think it's going to really affect the iron golem. I think they were getting shot by skeletons from down below. Uh, and, uh, and they couldn't then escape. Uh, so now they should be perfectly fine since they have a nice wall. And so then if we go up here, we've got our little conveyor belt thing. Obviously, this side's not fully finished because we don't have the other side of the building to work with. Um, but eventually, in due time, we will get that. So the conveyor belt thing, and then we've got the carved pumpkins and stuff. Uh, I've got a few piled here that are actually jack-o'-lanterns that are in here lighting the place up. It's a nice little aesthetic you can add to just add some light without causing too much of a concern. Uh, because it is iron, I decided to go with using some tool forges for this sort of uh, counter thing. And then we've got a little bridge that goes over, and I think villagers will path over this. Uh, they should feel like they can actually walk, um, but who knows? If they if they don't, it doesn't really matter. They can get there some other way. Uh, and then, yeah, this side is also done. And I think overall, I'm just so pleased. So I think I'm going to have glass like this so you can see down into the redstone mechanism like we had said before. Um, but I'm not really sure what that's going to look like. I don't know how big the pumpkin farm is going to be. So this whole design may change. The redstone may be very surface level. I don't know. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to get it in a decent looking spot where we can kind of show it off because I like showing redstone. I think it's kind of fun. So I think the last thing to do is to go ahead, make this guy right there. Hello, hello, nice. Welcome to the world. And you can see he's kind of just trapped here. And I think that's really nice. It adds a nice aesthetic of like, eh, this is what the end result is. And then that one can go right there. Uh, and yeah, I think that's good. I love what this place has turned out to be. Like it's a bit, it's different. It's a very different type of build style different uh, style of industrial and just interesting materials to work with. But I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. But I think that is going to have to do it for this episode. I have done so much building, <laughs> so, so much building and the sun's setting. So I don't even have a ton of time to say goodbye. Uh, but it's been such a fun, fun thing to build. I'm really, really pleased with how it's going. Uh, next episode, let's tackle this other side and get this building one step closer to being completed. But that is going to have to definitely do it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you enjoy the Iron Golem creation area. I think it's a really cool thing. Need to get some villagers in there. I think eight villagers can fit on that side with all the beds and stuff. But we'll get that in due time. I did destroy our little villager pathway. So maybe we'll just bring two over and let them breed. Who knows? But that's going to have to do it for this episode, guys. If you liked the video, leave a like in real life. If you like the iron golems and stuff, tell me your favorite part about this build. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.